Hi, this is Jerry from Spice Girls. We're actually all on the top of a bus at the moment, having a nice summer's day out, and we thought we'd tell you about our summer holiday experiences. But I'll tell you what, the best holidays I've had in the, in the last few years are ones with Melanie B. We've, we've gone away for the last few years. Um, we have, we have indeed. And the first one was at um, Gran Canaria, and that was really mad because it was Christmas Day, although it wasn't summer, but it was... But hey, who needs summer for a holiday? But it was um, Christmas Day and we had chips on the beach. And Budweiser's. And Budweiser's <laughs> and ketchup. That was really charming. And then, and then we went to, um, where did we go? Sri Lanka. Lanka. And that's the teardrop of India. And that was just fabulous. That was a really cultured holiday. And um, although I did get food poisoning. But I did swim in the river with the local natives. And we went on this tour and saw all these uh, birds. <laughs> we heard blowing <laughs> in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> we saw, <laughs> we saw a local tour of turds and pineapple, which was quite nice. And then last year we all went to the Caribbean. But we, we had to meet up in Antigua. And that was really nice. Because the Caribbean and everybody's really chilled out. Although you, you have to wait about an hour for a beer. Yeah, they're, that ch they're all that chilled out. But my, I say a childhood memory of hol summer holidays, because I'm Spanish, I'd always um, go and visit my grandparents in Spain. And they live in the north of the Pyrenees. And um, basically, I always remember that, you know, I was very short for my age. And there was a big fun fair. And we couldn't, and I wasn't, quite an adult so I couldn't get on the big rides but then again I wasn't you know I didn't want to be you know one of the little kids so I was sort of a bit caught up and basically my grandma used to make us go and collect loads of snails in the fields you know and I'd keep them in, as pets and get really attached to them and then a day later we'd eat them and it was really disturbing for me um, um, I'd say tips for summer holidays that, you know, because obviously you like to have your makeup on, is get your eyelash tint, tinted and red, and you can wear no red, no wear, ma don't wear any makeup, Hello. just a splash of red lipstick and then you still feel glamorous in a pair of dark shades. And get some nice, um, get some flip flops with platforms on because yeah. you don't want to look, you know, <laughs> too short and dumpy no, when you're walking yeah. around. <laughs> you never know, you might have no, your I nice holiday romance. And for also, what I'm saying, also, if you do go away with your friends, you know, my advice to you is, you know, all just chill out and don't just do what you want to do. Don't put any pressure on each other to have a good time. You know, if you want to lie by the pool, you know, just lie by the pool, do what you want to do and don't feel you have to accommodate other people's needs. That's what I would think because that puts a big stress on the holiday, I think. And also, don't no, sport, not even I think the worst thing that can happen on holiday is if you get burnt on the first day because then you are just basically, you know, it spoils the whole thing. There's nothing worse than you're lying in bed, oh, completely roasted like a pig, no, no. you know, it's bright red. Well. It is dangerous and you get sunstroke. You know, it is brilliant when you break up from school and you just think, wow, I've got a whole six weeks of freedom. Yeah. You know, you can chill out. If you've got no money, just go down the library. That's what I used to do. You know, you can play in the street, play knock up ginger or British bulldog and just chill out and go down the woods. That's it. I remember it's just fantastic. Oh, never gone holiday with you from skin, Jerry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Mel B. And I'm going to tell you about the holidays that I used to have. Well, every year, me and my family and all my mum's sisters and brothers and cousins and nephews and nieces used to all go camping to Wales. We used to get our tents, our caravans, our baked beans, our gas, gas tanks, our dogs, our kids and we all used to hire out the whole campsite. The campsite had about 40 people on it and it was jam-packed with the browns. Yeah, we used to roll down the big sand dunes really, really, really fast. You know when you go out to the top and then you roll down and you get sand in your face and sand everywhere? And then we used to go, is it mussel picking? Where you pick the, what, what animal do you pick out of the sea? Cockles. Cockle picking. And I can remember once my sister must have only been about six and there's like holes where the tide's gone out to sea. The tide's gone out to sea, no, where the tide's gone out. And she stood like on this hole and it nearly swallowed her up completely. And I had to save her. What, the mussel? No, the hole in the sand. How did you save it? No, I just tried to buy her hair out or buy a neck, I remember. And then, what else have we used to do? We all used to have campsite dinners and we all used to have bonfires once a week. 
and we used to go down into Puelli in Appasock and there were two beaches that you could go to. You could, you could go to the calm beach that had all the sand dunes or you could go to the rough beach where there were rocks and everybody sunbathed nude. And I'll let you know which one I went to. Well, it's obvious, isn't it, really? A bit of rough. And what else did I used to do? I used to have a great time. Oh, we used to play, play rounders every evening before we went out for something to eat. Mind you, no, we didn't go out for something to eat. We used to cook it ourselves, baked beans and eggs and sausages and more baked beans because it's all camp food, you see, that's all you eat. Oh, you'll never go to heaven <laughs> in a baked bean can because a baked bean can won't fit my nan in. Oh, you never go to heaven in a baked bean can. I don't really know the words. It's been ages since I've been. But apart from that, we used to have an excellent time. We used to get a really good tan. You could see the country. There was that sheep that you could talk to and look at. The only when it rained, you all gathered round in somebody's caravan and sung songs and got the booze out and um, prepared for what we were going to do the next day. It was good. I'll tell you what we did one year. <laughs> we stripped my friend's mother, Sherelle's mother, we stripped <laughs> in the middle of a campsite then left her without any clothes. <laughs> it's funny, you can do that to mums when you're camping because they, they're kind of high in spirits and they've got all their family and friends around. It was good. And the only thing that she was shouting for was her dog Lucy, as if her dog Lucy was going to cover her up. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And there was loads of campsites you could go horse riding in one campsite like opposite ours. You could do all kinds of things. And it was really great. Very therapeutic in Wales. Very, very therapeutic. And that's the end of my little Welsh story. Okay, this is Victoria, otherwise known as Posh Spice. I'm not keen on all this camping type thing. I've never, ever, ever camped and I will never camp. Where have I been? I've, I've been quite a lot of travelling actually before I even met the Spice Girls. I've been to America, Australia, France, Germany, wow. Switzerland, Cannes. Spent a lot of time in Cannes, not to mention skiing resorts. I do like a nice ski in the, you know, in the February month. Um, spent it all the time with my younger brother and sister and my mum and dad. And it was very nice. And I stayed at incredibly posh places, did a lot of shopping and visited the very best restaurants there are. Also, I never use that cheap and nasty suntan lotion. What's it called? Soliel or something? That's good. What's it called? Hawaiian Taiwan. Hawaiian Taiwan. Well, I, I never use that. Use that. That's wicked. Never ever use that. And as for singing, I just listen to orchestras. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, eh? I have a nice orchestra playing for me wherever I go. In fact, I have a them, flout, them, them song. I have a flautist travelling with me permanently, so I can just and listen a to that. And, and a harpist. And you never participate in Club 1830. No, no. Club 1830 and Magalufi and all that kind of thing. Never, ever, ever, ever. Would, never. Get them out. <laughs> Goodness what me, I'd run a mile. Wet t-shirt competitions? I don't think so. Do you speak any foreign languages? She speaks yeah, loads. Loads. But I wouldn't like to show you because I make them look common enough anyway. So that would just really, really finish it off. Uelaga. Uelaga. Parito caliente. That means I'd like a hot dog. Where is the station? Now, I do like a nice holiday. In fact, I've actually spent quite a lot of time on the ocean. They're filming, though. In a nice big yacht. Yes. I have. Hi, Rath, nice big yacht. What's that barge you get in the in It's the not town. a barge. It's not a barge. I've hawked at Porto Benus and just sail around for a couple of months and then come back and join the other four who've been doing a lot of hard work. And I just ride on the back. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Emma. And my favourite time used to be school holidays because I used to go to Clacton which was a caravan park called High, High Fields, and there used to be swimming pools and um, parks. So you, you know when you hang like that and you swing down, and then there used to be three discos, which you used to get all dressed up for, and meet everyone down the discotheque. And then afterwards, you used to go and have your fish, which you could have cockles or prawns or jellyfish, or then there was a fish and chip shop. They do scraps. Which we used to go to. You used to do scraps as well from Mel. Good. And um, I used to be quite young, but there used to be a big gang of us, and we used to meet, and then we used to go swimming after the disco. And they were wicked holidays, and I loved it. I was Miss Highfield as well, went in for all the competitions, all the singing competitions. 
all the fancy dress with competitions. I used to go with my mum, my dad, and my brother, and some friends. And get family. sunburned though, don't you, Mum? And I got really sunburned. I got um, sunstroke while I was in class. You get sunstroke if you go to the sun for two seconds. And stand between your bums. Hey. Well, you and I used to have a bath with my brother in a big bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it was only about two. <laughs> What's all that? We used to have bump beds in the caravan, and we used to have breakfast. We used to go down the shop and get bacon and eggs and sausages. You used and to get the eggs from the local farmhouse thing that I just been. No, it was just, oh, like, it was just the supermarket. Oh. No, you had to go down the shop. There was no room service. All <laughs> them, and I won older competitions. Oh, what about you? Yeah, man. That's my. Did you wear makeup? No, I didn't. Like you I was only right little. Center. I was only little. But my nan used to buy me a snowball now and again. <laughs> or a baby sham. Or a baby sham. And then there was a, a tuck shop where you get your sweets. And then there was, um, what do you call it? Arcades. That I used to play on all the time and lose all my money. I didn't actually, but I tell you who used to go there as well. Sean Maguire. He used to be running around. But he was only tiny. He still is. Little baby. The baby was really small. You like it's Melanie here. Yes, it's the summer holidays at last. No more school for weeks and weeks. I tell you what, I love the summer. I'm such a summer person. When I was at school, I was lucky enough to be able to go on holiday every year for the whole of the summer holidays because my dad used to work abroad. So I spent loads of time in Spain and in France. I used to get really, really brown and have the best time. When you're in Spain, I advise you to try paella. It's really, really nice. It's rice and prawns and all different kinds of fish. The only dodgy thing about paella is squid because it's a bit rubbery and it's not very I tasty. Like squid. But Emma likes squid. Also in Spain you can get calamares, which is squid rings, which is like fried in batter. I'm not really a fan of them either. But um, in Spain, actually we'll talk about Spain because Spain's my favourite country. And when you go to Spain, you've got to go and see the flamenco dances. It's very passionate and the music's very... Very dramatic, yeah. I like Spain. Flamenco dancing is cool. And what else can you get? You do really good chips over there, and you do chicken and chips, and chicken on the little rostisserie things with all herbs and spices on the skin is yum scrum. So I reckon Spain's the best place for food. My favorite things at holidays is playing on the beach, swimming in the sea, swimming in the pool, diving in, going to water parks going to places to see animals like safari parks and stuff like that in fact holidays are the best thing ever and we should have them all year round <laughs>